Good morning everyone. My name is Bhavna M. Kanu. I hope you people are enjoying your holidays. Now I am here to teach you the second chapter of class 10 mathematics that is polynomials. Okay. I will teach you from introduction. Okay. When it comes to polynomial, you should know about terms. What are terms? I will tell you. Terms. Polynomial. You say that 2 is the degree 
degree of polynomial degree of polynomial is nothing but the highest degree of polynomial here you cannot say that one is the degree of polynomial because there is one more value 2 which is greater than 1 so you have to say that 2 is a degree of polynomial because highest power of this polynomial is x squared which is 2 so you can you should say that 2 is the degree of polynomial if i ask you 2x to the power of 4 plus 3x cube plus 4x square plus 5x plus 1 what is the degree of this polynomial you should say 4 is the degree of polynomial because 4 is the highest power highest degree in this polynomial Plus 1, x plus 2 will be equal to 0. So the value of x 
one. This is just the name given to the uh, values, zeros of these two polynomials. You can also write alpha is equals to minus one, beta is equals to two. It is not compulsory that you have to take this as alpha, this as beta, but you have to take two zeros as alpha and beta. That's what. If in a cubic polynomial you will get three zeros of for the polynomial, then there is one more zero for which you have they have given name as gamma. One first one zero is called as alpha, second zero is called as beta, one more zero is called as gamma. This is gamma alpha beta gamma for three zeros. If there are two zeros, you will only consider alpha and beta. Okay. Now let us learn. You are eligible now. You are eligible to know the uh, relationship between zeros and coefficient of the polynomials. First, when it comes to linear polynomial, how you should come? Uh, how you have to find this uh, relationship between zeros and coefficients? I will tell you. See, for linear poly polynomial, the relationship, uh, how the format of linear polynomial will be like a x plus b, because the highest degree of this polynomial is is one. So it is called as linear polynomial. To find relationship between zeros and coefficients of linear polynomial, uh, there is a formula. I will tell you. Uh, first, consider this. Because the format of 
quadratic polynomial is like that. A x square plus b x plus c is the format of quadratic polynomial. So we have to consider quotient of x as b and quotient of x square as a. And when it comes to product of uh, these zeros, alpha into product of zeros is equal to c by a. Uh, let us consider the same equation x square plus 3x plus 2. We got two zeros alpha is equal to minus 1, beta is equal to minus 2. And if you do product of these two zeros, product of these two, it will result in alpha into beta is equal to c. What is c here? 2. 2 by what is a? What is the coefficient of x square? That is 1. 1 minus 2 minus plus 2 is equal to plus 2. Here RHS is equal to LHS is equal to RHS. This is what relationship between zeros and coefficients. This is the main concept of this chapter. Now let us move through exercise now. Exercise problems. Ha, when it comes to cubic polynomial. When it comes to cubic polynomial. There is a different uh, formula to find relationship between zeros and coefficient that is I will tell you about the formula you can easily do it uh, alpha, beta, gamma are the zeros of the cubic polynomial where you get three zeros so alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a alpha into beta plus beta into gamma plus gamma into alpha is equal to c by a Alpha into beta into gamma is equal to minus b by a. There are three relations for cubic polynomial to find relationship between zeros and coefficients. If you are given the uh, value of alpha, beta and gamma, alpha is equal to 1, beta is equal to 2 and gamma is equal to 3 and uh, they will also give equation for you. Then you can easily find the value of alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a. I will show you this with a problem. Let us learn, uh, let us see the first uh, exercise of this chapter. Okay, I will teach you later about these graphs. Exercise 2.2. 2. I will uh, teach you later exercise 2.1. In exercise 2.2, the first question is, find the zero of the following quadratic polynomials and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. Okay, the first problem is, x square minus 2x minus 8. This is the quadratic polynomial. So, first factorize this quadratic polynomial. You should factorize this in such a way that when you multiply the answer should be x, 8x square minus 8x square and when you add that the answer should be minus 2x. So we can take 4, 4 into 2 is 8 minus 4x plus 2x minus 8x square. Here x is common minus 4 plus Relationship between zeros 
simple sheet of polynomial. Uh, this is one and one more that is alpha into beta. Alpha into beta is equal to c by a. Alpha is minus two and beta is four. Is equal to what is coefficient of what is c here minus a? What is uh, coefficient of x square? That is one. Four two is eight. Here is minus, so we have to put minus. Minus. This is how to find relationship between zeros and coefficient of polynomials. Okay, thank you.